Oh wait. But who are you? David Vujanic. Yes, so welcome to the show comments below. The show where you leave your comments below, because some of them are. Ah. Some of them are. Ah. And it's an epic moment, not just in this show, in every show. And guess what? It only goes. Comment of the week. Today we speak about the magic of the FA Cup once more. Wigan knocking out the Come mighty again. Manchester City. Yeah, buddy. We also speak about Arsenal. Is this our realistically our only chance we've had really and truly in about like 10 years to it's win in a your trophy? Hands. It's in our hands, isn't mm-hmm. it? And are Chelsea going to win the Premier League? The magic of the FAC Cup, uh, it is indeed magical. People are thinking, you know what, is it magical enough? Is it not magical enough? However, mm-hmm. we can only start here and it is Wigan versus Man City. 2 1 thoughts from Poopy Doopy. Are Wigan Man City's bogey team? Alex 9000i, Man City 1, Wigan 2. Thoughts? Po? It's magical how so much can change in football. Because a matter of months ago, I'll give it a month ago, Manchester City were this elite dream High team. High flying. That could win all four trophies. Best team in the world. Nicely oiled. Nicely. I remember Tim Stewart, this is the best team in the world. But the best team in the world lost to a team that happens to be seventh at home. And they're seventh in the championship. In the championship. But you lost to them at home. At home at the Etihad. For a team that's meant to be winning the Premier League and so on and so forth, yes, you can have off days, but I'm sorry, no excuse for that Manchester City. You can't lose, let's say, to Barcelona at home, uh, Chelsea at home, you know, I mean, I think they had Bayern another Munich one, Bayern home. Munich home, and then Wigan. Wigan. It just doesn't make sense, but it is the magic of the FA Cup. You're thinking, easy walk in the park for Man City, yeah. all that money poured in, and an awful performance. However, a key question which um, Josh Lane has posted is, the Michaelis is shit, thoughts? Now, the question is, is he the worst player in the Premier League? Then Michaelis is awful. He's a Hercules stunt double. He just looks like Andy Carroll, <laughs> but a se- centre-back. He's a centre-back version of Andy Carroll. So imagine Andy Carroll up front, not very good. Put him in centre-back, he's obviously not going to be very good. But it's, I feel sorry for him. Then Michaelis is clearly... He looks like abysmal. a biker. He does look like a biker. He looks like the ones that we saw in like, Texas. Like a wrestler. Maybe he should just think of maybe you know, going into another career choice because defending a... In football, definitely isn't one for you, I think. The Michaelis, stop giving away penalties. You could have been a traffic warden then. Do you know what I mean? If he wants to give away penalties, be a traffic warden. Moving on from uh, very, very bad players and a uh, very, very bad Man City to another game which I believe you're very, very happy about. It is Addo S. Wigan versus Arsenal. Thoughts? Now, I'm not getting happy. Too many times I've You shouldn't be happy. And I've gone mad. I've given it to Come on, drop it! Go win! You know! Ozil! Ozil! And it goes wrong. It so goes today, wrong badly. I'm just going to be calm. 2005, Patrick Vieira wins us the FA Cup. The next year, in 06, we arrive in Paris. We lose 2 1 to Barcelona. That broke my heart. 07, we filled a weakened second string side against Chelsea in the Carling Cup final. Theo Walcott takes the lead after good interplay from um, him and Diaby. Drogba breaks my heart. Oh, 10! Upper Femi Martins, the smallest Nigerian living as well as the oldest clay in football, knocks us out the cup. I have to see Jack Wilshaw reduced to tears. Crying. If anything Crying of that mind. nature happens Crying when the only mind. remaining teams happen to be Hull, Wigan, and Sheffield United, I will not, I repeat, I will not buy an Arsenal jersey, home or away. I will not go to one Arsenal game. And I will officially, officially be Wenger out. We've had to witness too many things that just broke our hearts. Cup finals, 8-2 against Manchester United at Old Trafford. I stuck by the boys. This season, 6-3 at Etihad. 5-1 5-1 at Liverpool. I've stuck by you, lads. I'm just saying, for all of that, all of the Arsenal fans, what we've done, give us the FA Cup. But elsewhere in the Cup, we did have Sheffield United making it to the semi-final. Very, very happy. The Reds have said thoughts on League One Sheffield United making it to the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. And also Michael Carpenter said, relieved to say that Poets hair is safe as Charlton won't win the FA Cup. The potential is that there's two teams that are not in the Premier League could be in the final of the FA Cup. Possible. That says a lot about the teams and how much they value the FA Cup. Or it just means that some of the big teams have met each other, i.e. Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal, Liverpool, Man United, Mm. Swansea. It's all the luck of the draw and part of the magic of the FA Cup. And I hope 
in my heart of hearts that Wigan defend it because Wigan defending the FA Cup, no one could have written that, mate. David. Yeah. We leave the cup. We do indeed. That seems people like Demichelis and the whole Manchester City squad cliche. They clearly don't care about. We move on to the Premier League. The Prem, the greatest league in the world. As M. Jane says, Chelsea are now favourites for the title. Thoughts? Yep, indeed. Josh Denham Swift. Chelsea seven points clear and unbeaten in 14. Thoughts? Now, do you know what? I look at the European tables. I see uh, Bayern Munich are 20 points clear in the Bundesliga. They just won 6 1 away from home. I look at the Italian league, I think something like 14, 16 points clear for uh, Juventus at the top of the league. Then I look at the Spanish league and I look at the English league and it just, it says in my mind right now, despite Bayern Munich being the best team, so the best teams from Germany, the best leagues to me are Spain and England. Without a doubt. And I, I want to I point out that it's England. I thought England is the tightest and that's what we want. We want a competitive league. And there's so much things to look at and to consider. Now, obviously, Arsenal didn't play in the weekend, Man City didn't play in the weekend, Liverpool didn't play in the weekend. Chelsea did play and they won 4-0. The only problem with this situation and to me... The problem is they played Tottenham. Gifted. They Tottenham played Tottenham, that's the issue. To and Tottenham can't play big teams anymore, it seems. They just lose, convincingly. And their defence, it leaks more than my tap at home. It's absolutely <laughs> awful. There is no defence. It's awful. The defence is abysmal. Absolutely. It's like putting water into a toaster and expecting toast to pop out. <laughs> it's useless. <laughs> Do the Premier League a favour, man. Make this tight for the top four. Nah, we'll lose 4 0. How did you not Demba Bar Bar Black Sheep score two goals against Demba you? Demba Bar scored two goals. He never scores. Two. Never scores. Chelsea, on the other hand, looking good. No striker up front and still might win the Premier League. Seven points clear. Man City has three games in hand. Three games in hand. We do need to remember Arsenal this. Arsenal Liverpool do have a game in hand. Chelsea have still got some tough games to go. They've still got to play the likes of Arsenal. And Liverpool. And Liverpool. So they've still got some tough games to go. They could be title deciders. Arsenal are thinking about this month. We've got Spurs this coming Sunday. Then we've got Chelsea. Then we've got City. Yeah. So there's a lot of football yeah. still to happen. And the pressure now is on everyone chasing. And also, let's not, let's not forget, tonight Arsenal play Bayern Munich. Tomorrow night, Manchester City play against Barcelona. Now, effectively, if we both go out, it means that we can now focus on just the Premier League. All right, we move on to a part of the show that uh, apparently is taking a segment in our show. A little bit upset about that because he's got his own show. It is the Mr. Tom Deacon himself. And this is the Deco ah, Challenge. Deco Challenge. Mr. Jam Tarts has asked, Flamengo dancing. Ooh. Now, I thought he's saying this because the challenge happens to be happening in the one and only Spain, Madrid. Yes, Atletico Madrid versus AC Milan. It's going to be a tight game. Oh, difficult and game. And how is he even going to be at the press conference, the official one with Clarence Sado? Are you serious? Yeah, man. Deco's got them press passes, mate. So Deco's going to be with Clarence Sado. He's official. Where are we? We are in the studio. However, that is irrelevant. I'm hoping Deacon can um, you know, play up to the challenge and uh, do some successful flamenco dancing. However, next week, Deco will be at Stamford Bridge for Chelsea versus Galatasaray. The return of the drug. Once again. again. Return of the drug. Oh my God. Return of the drug. It's got too many. Is he going to knock Chelsea out? However, you know, leave your comments. Hashtag Deacon Challenge. You know what? You might be on the show. David, David, David. Yes, poet. Flamengo dancing, samba dancing, samba band. Sort of same thing, mate, because you know what? There's going to be a World Cup happening this year in Brazil. There is, and it's going to be um, absolutely amazing. There's also another World Cup that you may or may not know it mm. about. The Street Child World Cup that is also going to be occurring in Brazil, which consists of homeless children from 20 different countries around the world. We went down to the Royal Albert Hall to try and break the world record for the largest samba band in the world to help raise awareness. Guys, watch this VT. All right, do you know where we are, David? We are at the Royal Albert Hall. And we are here to be a part of a world record attempt. Let's get on with it. <laughs> We've been given instruments. We're actually part of the record attempt. This is the last attempt to break the record. And so we can do it. How about you ready? I'm playing the match of the day, <laughs> Third attempt, the 
last attempt, and I think we've done it. Get it, get it, it. it. Loved the Royal Albert yeah, Hall. The question is, even though we were a part of that whole Samba experience, did we break the world record? Back to you guys in the studio. You know we broke the record, though. We broke the record? Yeah. We broke the record? Yeah. High five. Nice job. Wow. You mean it's a really time for? It is indeed. Quick fight round. Three, two, one. So KFC to the English Premier League. Thoughts? No way. Bring injuries as well. Then. But Donald's sports with a round. Nah, prefer uh, KFC. Talk about West Ham moving to the Olympic Stadium. Whoa, too no big. Have a watch. Comments below. And we're happy to be back. Come Thank back, you. Thank you. Comment. Thoughts on better leaving us at the end of the season. Woo! -hoo! Let's see your favorite football every episode. Woo! A video straight into thoughts. Yeah, he's amazing. amazing. Thoughts on Luke Schwinn, Adam and Lonnie play for England. What is that in my opinion? No, 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 no. If no, this no, kid's no, gonna no. go for enough, buy a some new trousers. You need yeah, some, no. look, they're broken. <laughs> a Jet Will Shake played more than 20 minutes of point in front of you on Wednesday with broken foot. Class or dumbass sports? Ooh, oh, a bit dumb. Mate. Poet, how sick was Ox against Everton? Definitely should be on the plane to Rio if he keeps on playing like he did for us today. That was really good. I know. Though, yeah. I live for the intros. Thank you. Okay. Poet's pants like the rag I used to book my bathroom. I agree. They are. Never take under Chicago fire scarf. Never. Yeah. David, if you could save only one injury between Suarez and Sturridge, who would you save? Go. Suarez. What kind of map do you guys have? <laughs> Poet in Ukraine, you know, like that. Yeah. What? I've been watching comments below so much that I wasn't to James Bond's wise, but I think he was going to sing, where are you from? <laughs> this oh. is a comment. Or is it? Do a shout out for everyone watching from Canada. Shout to Canada. What up? I'm the brick will value you fake, huh? If this is you, you get good, should I go? Nah! You're a waste, man. Hurry up. Shut up! Video. We will. Me, 21. 22. 22. It's all right. All right, yes, there is a craze that definitely is hitting the Copper fam. The Copper fam, we didn't expect to throw it at you the way we did. Because we've had so many entries, we cannot go through these faces individually, the ones that you have sent in. However, there is this little video montage, so see if your face is there. If your face isn't there, then what are you waiting for? Send them in at Copper90, hashtag Phil Jones face. And next week, hopefully you'll be on the show. It's time for the part of the show where I turn to my left. David turns to his right and he says, Gotta ask yourself the question, where are you from? This week, the person is from a part of the world that I feel we don't shed enough light on. Even footballing wise, yes. Please put Saudi Arabia because you guys have a lot of fans over there. Now, I'll tell you what, thank you so much. I was so unaware. I'm going to take a little stroll. We love you, Saudi Arabia. Yeah, put it in Riyadh. Riyadh, capital city. One of my fondest memories of Saudi Arabia, don't take this the wrong way, is you lot losing 4 0 to France. We should move on to a part of the show, David, where we've changed the format. We used to end the show on this, but we decided to always end it on a brighter note. And uh, it is. Bit of doom. Now, Maradona, Ben Hay has said this. Carson Young, for pit of doom, for ruining Birmingham City and being found guilty for money laundering. Hashtag pit of doom. He has been sentenced, bro. Six years for money laundering. He's gone to prison. David, it only means one thing. If you do not agree with this individual not being in the pit of doom, so he has to be there, you've got to rip it up and get it one time in. Because then we all believe you're doing what the Copper fam wants. They deserve it. They deserve it. He deserves it. But he doesn't he does employ Nikola Zigic, so that's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> but for money laundering, which is not very, very good. One time? One good. time. For the mother's pride, two time. You, you wanted to, David! It never happened, it never happened. It never no, happened. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this week. I'm turning to Leonardo DiCaprio as well. Jack! Jack! Now, we've done the pit of doom. We've even asked where you're from. We have. Now it's time for the millions. And millions of Copper Nighties fans all across the world from Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Tumblr, Facebook. It's time for an epic moment in the show. Buzzfeed. That can only be described as in furries. Best of your making, yes, Uviku! 
People say that Tom Cleverley should not go to the World Cup. I totally disagree. Those water bottles aren't going to hand themselves <laughs> out. <laughs> Mr. Nukes 04, you're an absolute hero. Shiraz Ali said, when you're 20, you play football. When you're 40, you play tennis. And when you're 60, you play golf. Have you noticed as you get older, your balls get smaller? That is absolute quality. Jeremy, if you can't spell manslaughter without laughter. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you know how cynical that is? Yeah. <laughs> I think the Tom Cleverly one, because that's a serious issue. Yeah, that's a serious issue. All right, Mr. Nukes 04, I tell you what, I love when people abuse Manchester United. That is comment of the week. Well, we're giving you the comment of the week. You didn't ask where you're from. It is now time for this wonderful wall that's behind us. David, what's it called? Wall of Fame. Now, I think it's the best way to end <laughs> the show. You end the show on a brighter, lighter note. And we've had so much people talk about this one. All right. Ben Kirkland, potentially the brother of Chris, has said, for Wall of Fame, Neymar. During the Brazil versus South Africa game, a kid ran onto the pitch and rather than letting the guards take him back to the stands, Neymar came over to the boy and let him celebrate with Brazil's roster. He definitely deserves to go on the Wall of Fame. Hashtag Copper Fam. He has gone on the Wall of fame and he absolutely deserves it. I just think this Brazilian team, I want them to win the World Cup because if that's their mentality and they're very that's exactly what I feel as well. those are the people I want to win the World Cup because they're a representation of the people. But keep leaving your comments. You know, next week I believe Liverpool are playing Manchester United. Arsenal, yes, the North London derby. We go over to Shite Hart Lane and we play Tottenham Hotspur. It's going to be loads and loads of more, you know, European football. Keep leaving your comments. Champions League, keep leaving your comments. Comment of the week, keep leaving your comments. Deacon Challenge, keep leaving your comments. Just, you know what? Keep leaving your comments. And give us some really interesting people for Wall of Fame. Wall of I'm Fame. just saying, Aaron Hunt. Say no more, Adebayo. A bit of dome. Come on! We love you! Hashtag of a fan!